Doctor, you've talked about hydration mm -hmm. uh, quite a bit. How important is the right kind of water? I mean, who knows when we turn the tap on what's coming out of there, how do we find the right kind of water? And, and is that maybe the wrong kind of water part of the problem as well? Both, yes, no, <laughs> everything. First of all, you make it. <clears throat> the only okay. water you can drink is the water you make. You buy an under sink if you don't have a lot of money. You buy an under sink, and I think they have it still at Costco for kind of like $199, maybe $240, it's not really expensive. You buy an under sink reverse osmosis water filter system. That's the only water I would drink. Okay. If you have the money, it's kind of like between two and three and four thousand dollars as a whole house water system, then you can drink the water out of every faucet and give it to your to animals too because that's why dogs and cats get so much cancer because mm -hmm. from the fluoride and chlorine in the drinking water. But you need to filter it yourself. You need to know what's going on. If you buy it, you buy it in, in, in plastic bottles, then you have the problem uh, with a BPA, mm -hmm. and uh, then you get feminized as a man and over-feminized as a woman. You know, as a man, you grow boobs. As a girl, you get breast cancer. And uh, I would not drink anything I haven't filtered myself. And uh, I mean, when we travel, we buy certain kind of waters that I don't want to advertise, but we buy certain kinds of water that is in bottles. I would never buy anything that's in, in, in plastic. Mm -hmm. And uh, there are some waters out there, uh, European waters. I only use European waters if I'm traveling, like here, uh, that, that comes in glass bottles. Otherwise, I wouldn't touch it. Then I just try to get fresh juice or anything like that. Mm -hmm. And um, or do I go to Whole Foods and, and uh, get a juice. But the, the, the most important part is that people understand there is chlorine and fluoride in the drinking water. Fluoride was used by Stalin and Hitler for the gulags and the Nazi concentration camps to make the people in the gulags and concentration camps docile and infertile. Mm -hmm. And um, it has a direct impact, instant impact on your brain. Chlorine, chloride, mm -hmm. is something that was called chlor gas in a gas format and Adolf Hitler used this to murder all these Jewish people. That's what's in your drinking water. When you get out of the shower and you are dizzy and nauseous, you think, oh, I showered too hot. No, you didn't. The shower head cuts open the water molecules and the chlorine turns into gas and fills your shower and turns it into a gas chamber, mm. a chlor gas chamber, a chlorine gas chamber. So then there are 256 different chemicals found in our drinking water including all the uh, psycho, uh, uh, the drugs that are used for psychosomatic treatments, mm. psychiatric treatments, and so on. So everything that people take, they pee out, the water gets uh, basically sure. back into the uh, uh, water uh, uh, stream, coming back to us through the water pipe, and now we have all these medicines in there, and uh, also uh, Jesse Ventura reported on it, there is even radiation in our drinking water and so on. So if it comes from the government, don't trust it. Make it yourself. If the federal government tells you something to do, I do the opposite of whatever it is because I know they have their own agenda, not mine. And we just need to uh, be aware of that we have to have in the water we filter pink salt, Himalayan salt, which mm -hmm. is mined. So since it comes out of a mine, all the pollution from the outside, the chemtrails and so on, it's not on it. Plus it has the 76 trace minerals in it. Because you take everything out, if you filter the water, it's, the good stuff is gone sure. too. But the easiest and cheapest way is really pink salt, Himalayan salt. Mm -hmm. I think it costs the same like, like sea salt, but it's really, really powerful and good for you. And as I always say, I would drink a gallon of water a day with half a teaspoon of pink salt in it. And you can use sea salt if you want to, but there's so much in the oceans and I'm not trusting mm -hmm. it any longer. And with uh, Fukushima, the nuclear reactor accident in Japan, uh, it might be radioactive yeah. too.